What is Power BI and how does it differ from Excel? Power BI is a business analytics service by Microsoft that allows users to analyze and visualize data using a variety of tools and techniques. Unlike Excel, which is primarily a spreadsheet program, Power BI is a complete business intelligence solution that can be used to connect to multiple data sources, transform and clean data, and create interactive visualizations and reports. How do you import data into Power BI and what data sources does it support? Data can be imported into Power BI from a variety of sources, including Excel spreadsheets, databases, cloud-based services, and other file formats. To import data, users can use the Get Data feature, which allows them to connect to various data sources and extract data using a simple, user-friendly interface. Power BI supports a wide range of data sources, including SQL Server, Oracle, SharePoint, Salesforce, and many others. What is the difference between a measure and a calculated column in Power BI? In Power BI, a measure is a calculation that is based on the values in a column or group of columns, while a calculated column is a new column that is created based on a formula. Measures are dynamic and are recalculated whenever the underlying data changes, while calculated columns are static and are only calculated when the data is first imported into Power BI. How do you create a dashboard in Power BI and what types of visualizations can you use? To create a dashboard in Power BI, users can use the dashboard feature, which allows them to add visualizations and data from various sources to a single page. Users can choose from a variety of visualizations, including charts, tables, maps, and gauges, and can customize the layout and appearance of the dashboard to suit their needs. Dashboards can be shared with others in the organization, allowing for collaborative analysis and decision-making. What is the difference between a slicer and a filter in Power BI? In Power BI, a slicer is a visual filter that allows users to interactively filter data in a visualization, while a filter is a data filter that is applied to the entire report or dashboard. Slices are often used in conjunction with visualizations to allow users to explore data in more detail, while filters are used to restrict the data displayed in a report or dashboard to a specific subset. How do you create a calculated measure in Power BI and what are some common use cases? To create a calculated measure in Power BI, users can use the new measure feature, which allows them to create a new calculation based on the values in an existing column or group of columns. Common use cases for calculated measures include calculating totals, percentages, ratios, and other key performance indicators, KPIs, that are important for business analysis and decision-making. What is the DAX language, and how is it used in Power BI? DAX, Data Analysis Expressions, is a formula language used in Power BI to create calculated columns and measures. DAX is similar to Excel formulas, but is optimized for business intelligence and data analysis. DAX includes a variety of functions and operators that allow users to perform complex calculations and analysis on their data, including aggregations, time intelligence, and filtering. How do you use Power Query to transform and clean data in Power BI? Power Query is a data transformation and cleansing tool that allows users to perform data transformation and cleaning tasks. To use Power Query, you can go to the Home tab and then click on the Transform Data button. From there, you can apply various data transformations, such as filtering, sorting, and grouping, to your data. How do you share Power BI reports and dashboards with others and what security features are available? Power BI offers various ways to share reports and dashboards with others, such as sharing through email, embedding in a website or SharePoint online, or publishing to the web. Security features such as row-level security, encryption, and Azure Active Directory integration are available to ensure data security. What is Power BI Premium and how does it differ from Power BI Pro? 
Power BI Premium is a cloud-based business analytics service that offers additional capacity and features compared to Power BI Pro, such as increased data refresh rates, higher data capacity limits, and the ability to share content with non-pro users without additional licensing. How do you handle large datasets in Power BI, and what performance optimization techniques are available? To handle large datasets in Power BI, you can use various performance optimization techniques such as data compression, incremental data refresh, and direct query mode. Additionally, using Power BI Premium can provide additional capacity and performance improvements. What is the Power BI API, and how can it be used to automate tasks and integrate with other systems? The Power BI API is a REST API that allows developers to programmatically interact with Power BI content, such as reports, dashboards, and datasets. It can be used to automate tasks, integrate with other systems, and create custom visuals. How do you connect to data in the cloud with Power BI, such as Azure SQL Database or SharePoint Online? Power BI supports various cloud-based data sources, including Azure SQL Database, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive for Business. To connect to these sources, you can use Power BI's built-in connectors, such as the Get Data feature, or you can use the Power BI API. How do you use Power BI to create predictive analytics models, and what algorithms are available? Power BI provides several built-in predictive analytics models, such as forecasting, clustering, and regression. These models can be accessed through the Analytics pane in Power BI Desktop. Additionally, custom or Python scripts can be used to create more complex predictive models. What is the Power BI data model, and how is it used to manage relationships between tables? The Power BI data model is a collection of tables, relationships, and measures that define the structure and content of a Power BI report. Relationships between tables can be managed using the Manage Relationships feature, which allows users to specify the relationship type and cardinality between tables. How do you use Power BI to create custom visuals and extend the functionality of the tool? You can create custom visuals in Power BI using the Power BI Developer Tools, which allow you to build and test custom visuals using TypeScript and other web technologies. You can also extend the functionality of the tool by using custom visuals created by other developers or by building custom connectors to data sources that are not natively supported. How do you use Power BI to create and manage KPIs, Key Performance Indicators? You can create and manage KPIs in Power BI by defining a measure that represents the KPI and then using the KPI visual to display the measure and associated targets and thresholds. You can also create KPIs using the Quick Measure feature or by importing KPIs from other sources. How do you use Power BI to create and manage alerts for important metrics? You can create and manage alerts in Power BI by defining a rule that triggers an alert when a specified condition is met. The alert can be sent via email, mobile notification, or other channels and can include a link to the related report or dashboard. You can also manage alerts using the Power BI mobile app or the Power BI service. How do you use Power BI to create and manage data gateways for on-premises data sources? You can create and manage data gateways in Power BI by installing the Power BI Gateway software on a server or computer that is access to the on-premises data source. You can then configure the gateway to connect to the data source and manage security and other settings. You can also monitor and troubleshoot the gateway using the Power BI service or the gateway management interface. How do you use Power BI to create and manage data flows and what are some best practices? You can create and manage data flows in Power BI by defining a set of transformations that extract, transform, and load data from a data source into a data flow. You can then use the data flow to create reports and dashboards or to export the data to other systems. 
Some best practices for data flows include using incremental refresh to reduce load times, using partitioning to improve performance, and using the common data model to ensure consistency and interoperability. How do you use Power BI to create and manage paginated reports? You can create and manage paginated reports in Power BI by using the Power BI Report Builder, which allows you to design and publish reports that are optimized for printing or exporting to PDF, Excel, or other formats. You can also manage paginated reports using the Power BI service, which provides features such as scheduling, subscriptions, and delivery options. How do you use Power BI to create and manage mobile reports and dashboards? You can create and manage mobile reports and dashboards in Power BI by using the Power BI mobile app, which allows you to design and publish reports that are optimized for viewing on mobile devices. You can also manage mobile reports and dashboards using the Power BI service, which provides features such as device targeting, security, and branding options. How do you use Power BI to create and manage embedded reports and dashboards within other applications? Power BI supports embedding reports and dashboards within other applications using its REST APIs and Software Development Kits, SDKs. Developers can create custom applications that integrate with Power BI and display reports and dashboards alongside other application features. Embedding allows for a seamless user experience and the ability to interact with Power BI content without leaving the main application. Power BI also offers a range of customization options for embedded content, including themes, colors, and branding. How do you use Power BI to create and manage data-driven alerts and notifications? Power BI supports creating data-driven alerts and notifications using its built-in alerting and data-driven subscriptions features. Alerts can be triggered based on specific data thresholds or conditions, such as when a sales target is reached or exceeded. Notifications can be sent to email addresses or mobile devices and can include links to the underlying report or dashboard for further investigation. Power BI also allows for scheduling and automation of alerts, so users can receive timely updates without having to constantly monitor their data. How do you use Power BI to create and manage automated report delivery and scheduling? Power BI supports automated report delivery and scheduling using its subscription and delivery features. Users can set up subscriptions to reports and dashboards, specifying the desired delivery frequency and format, such as PDF or Excel. Power BI also allows for customization of the delivery settings, including the ability to include additional commentary or data in the delivery. Scheduling can be set up to run at specific intervals, such as daily or weekly, ensuring that users receive timely updates without having to manually request them.